Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Friday. Happy early Mother's Day to all my mommies out there. Um, today's pick a card is going to be all about change. What is ending in your life and why is it ending? Why is this change happening? This is a theme that has been going on with my personal readings, with my clients, the people that I'm coaching, as well as um, in my own personal life as well. So we're going to dive into why are things changing and what is coming in. Like always, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. It really helps my channel out. Thank you to all of you who recommend me. And all the information is always in the description box below. Timestamps, how to book a reading, my podcast, the webinar, all of that good stuff is always down there in the description box. So thank you very much, and I will see you in your selected pile. Bye. Hello, pile number one. Let's have a look and let's see what is this change. So this is what is ending. Why is it ending? And what is taking its place? Or what is coming in? And the rest is just guidance for you, okay? So let's see what is ending. The struggle. The needing to fight. The challenges. The obstacles. The having to defend yourself. This is what is ending. It's this energy of like you've been in this energy of I'm, I always need to fight for what I want or I always need to advocate for myself. I always need to justify what it is that I want to do, what it is that I want to create. And I feel like for you, this is, this is what is ending. It's, it's an ending to all the obstacles, all the resistance, and it's helping you move forward. For a lot of you, it was this energy of like one thing after another after another. For many of you, it was also other people trying to put you down as well. I do have to say that because these wands, right, they're by other people. They're the same people that were cheering him on in the six of wands. And then now that this person got on top, because that's why they're on top, this person is elevated than this other people down here. Now it's like people are pointing at them or throwing daggers their way or, you know, just creating this resistance. It could also be like a little bit of negative people around you, okay? a need. There was this need to always be on the defense and I feel like this is what is ending for you. It has been a spiritual lesson with the number seven and seven I'm also relating to astrology, which is... um. <clears throat> the seventh house, the house of Libra. So in the seventh house, we're talking about other people. So again, other people here always put up a challenge or there was always like some type of disharmony. And also the seventh house to me is open, um, open enemies as well. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like you were constantly fighting and needing to put your foot down, okay? Or always constantly having to work on your boundaries, and again, that was a lesson that you were learning. And for those of you, I do have to mention, I am having an astrology one-on-one -on -one webinar on the month of July, but I will mention that when I have all the details, but just throwing it out there. I did a poll on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you should. Why is this ending? Like, why is this cycle ending? Because it's your time to be victorious. That's why. Because... You are no longer needing to fight anymore. You're needing to connect with your truth. For a lot of you, the reason why this ending is because you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for this new cycle. You're ready to wear this crown. You're ready to reclaim your triumph, your success, your victory. You're ready to step into your power. You're ready to speak up. You needed to go through these challenges of the seven of wands in order for you to learn to speak up and in order for you to find your voice of authenticity as well. And that's why this, this cycle is ending. And what is coming in its place? The sun. I love this pile number one. <clears throat> yeah, the throat chakra for sure. You guys are stepping into this cycle of confidence, of 
of passion. And most importantly, this to me looks like lavender. So you're stepping into the cycle of harmony, of peace, of calm and tranquility, of things working out your way, of the light following you, the sun blessing you. And I feel like you're also stepping into <clears throat> this group of a lot of loyal people. You're getting out of this. And for some of you, <clears throat> you needed to cut out people like this. Yeah, because it wouldn't allow you to express yourself. <clears> this <throat> throat. Whoa, okay. Yeah, but you needed to make that choice, see? You needed to make that choice. For some of you, you were choosing to stay in these situations that kept you on the defense. But it's okay. We all learn like this. It's okay. But for many of you... You are making the choice to close this cycle out. And you're choosing yourself. You're choosing your truth. You're choosing your victory. You're choosing your vision for some of you. Because for some of you, you were, you were expressing your vision to the wrong crowd, pile number one. You really were. Because every time you express yourself here, this was the cycle that you were in. Every time you express yourself here in the circle, it was always very like, it wasn't well received. It always, <clears throat> there was always resistance that came up. And for many of you, this cycle needed to end because you're now ready to go on a different journey. In a different direction. And it's going to be one of a lot of happiness, a lot of healing for you. <clears throat> wow, yeah. Look at that. Right underneath the Ace of Swords, which is truth. You're moving towards truth, towards clarity, towards your truth, which is the most important. Here you were trying to fight with other people <clears throat> or defend your point of view. Because maybe you really love these people. Maybe you really cared about these people. But I feel like you're now making a choice of embracing your truth and moving in a different direction. And you're trusting spirit. I associate dogs with spirit and ancestors as well. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm so sorry, you guys. Yeah, because you guys need to shine. Shine on. That's why the cycle is being wrapped up. That's what is ending. The struggles, the needing to defend yourself. You're choosing yourself and you're choosing to shine regardless of the waves that come your way. Regardless of the obstacles or the resistance. Because you're way up here. So what other people are saying about yourself, it, it won't even like touch you or harm you in any way. You might be seeing 444 a lot as well. Like I said, the dog reminds me of family. Yeah, there was something, this was something you needed to learn. It could have been something that you picked up from family as well. From some, For some of you, you're walking away from family. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're relocating. <clears throat> we have citrine. Okay, so we have citrine. Yeah, you're bringing back the light to yourself. It was like you were trying to shine your light, but it was in the wrong... I don't know why I keep getting the wrong crowd. You know, whether this be family, lovers, friends, but you're bringing back the light into your life. And we have the fourth house. Yeah. This cycle needed to end in order for you to find exactly where you belong. This is the house of cancer. And... You're making your own family. You're creating your own family. Whether this be online. Whether this be via uh, friends. But it's like you're creating your own home. Your own sense of stability. Where you can shine. And others can shine as well. Where others are welcome. Where you feel welcome. And appreciated and loved. And I feel like during this time, what you do need to surrender is here to the miracles. Because this change is happening because it's time for it to happen. 
feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Absolutely, you're letting go of the resistance. That's the cycle that's ending. You're ending it. And there's the waves again. And your affirmation is, I am always guided and protected. You are. But that is what I have for you, pile number one. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to share um, and comment. Don't forget to check out my other social media platforms. If you are interested on in the webinar, all the details are in the description box below. Only check those. I feel like there's eight seats left, I believe. Yeah, but that is what I have for you guys. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Let's see what is ending in your life and what is coming in. So we have here what is ending, why, and what is taking its place. And the rest are guidance for you. Let's see what is ending. The six of pentacles. Okay. Don't get scared. I feel like you guys are, what is ending in your life is you overgiving. You tend to overgive to other people. You tend to extend yourself a lot. Okay, and I feel like for many of you, this could be resources, time, energy, information. I don't know, but there's something here that I feel like you're ending the imbalance between giving and receiving. For some of you... Now, I have to be honest, for some of you, you were always just taking, taking and not giving. But for many of you, I'm picking up, you were giving, giving, giving and not taking. And also you're ending the cycle with other people in regards to this. So for example, let's say you were in relationships or connections where you were the one always giving, always having to rescue someone. You're no longer staying in the situations. For others of you, maybe you were in a work that was in a job that you, you know, they overworked you and you always had to cover shifts for other people. You always had to kind of like cover everybody else's, I don't know, work or something like this. But whatever this is, it just feels like you did a lot and you weren't compensated. You weren't acknowledged for it. And for many of you, I feel like you're, you're putting an end to that. You're like, yeah, no, we're not doing that anymore. That's the cycle that's ending here. For others of you, the cycle that is ending also is being dependent financially on someone else. Okay, that's for some of you, but that is coming coming through very strong here. For others of you, yeah, it's, it's like you were being breadcrumb in something, whether it's been a relationship and a job. It's like they weren't, they weren't being fair with you in some way here. Why is this ending? The hermit. For many of you, because you, you need to specialize in something on your own. Okay, that's for some of you, because the hermit, I always think of studying. For others of you, it's because you need to recharge, and you need to heal, and you need to listen to your own truth, to your own voice, to spirit's voice. And in order for you to do that, it's like spirit need, puts, needs to put an end to the cycle, because if you're busy taking care of everybody else... To the point where you're not taking care of yourself, then you're doing a disservice to yourself, right? Because you can't be everyone's rescuer, pile number two. You really can't. Even though you are this very generous and you're really good at what you do, you have Virgo qualities to you, right? The hermit here is, is ruled by Virgo. You're very mercurial. So you're very skilled. You're very good at organizing. You're, you're very much, you love to be of service. But... Your guides are saying you have to be a service of yourself first, okay? So you need to go within. And for some of you, this cycle needs to end because you are going to specialize in something. For some of you, you're going to go on your own. You're going to completely go like, get off the grid is what I'm hearing for some of you. For others of you, you're getting out of corporate. There's there's a cycle in corporate that is ending. Or you worked in, a, in an office and now you're going on your own. You're putting like your own spiritual business or your own... You're going on your own spiritual path here. Okay, just to... Because I mentioned it for pile one. 
I have to mention it for you guys. I'm having a astrology webinar, astrology 101 in July. And I will put the information when it's getting closer, but I have to mention it because I mentioned it for pile one. But for many of you, I feel like you're ready. I don't know. I feel like you've been procrastinating something here, pile number two. You have. And I feel for many of you, you're going from being surrounded by people to just being on your own, doing your own thing. And what is taking its place? Look at that. The chariot. I love that. And the number six, right? The number six is this energy of, in numerology, is the caretaker, caretaker, the nurturer. For many of you, you've always been like that. You took care of a lot of people. You nurtured everybody, but you forgot to nurture yourself. You forgot to nurture your own goals, your own plans, your own visions. And I feel like what's coming in is more freedom for you with the chariot being here. For many of you, there's a lot of success that's coming in as well. For many of you, you're going to be able to travel now because you're working on your own and you're not working for anybody else. For others of you, I feel like you're going to find something better that is more balanced. You're moving forward. What is taking this place is victory, success. It's just stepping into your destiny too because a chariot to me always reminds me of, of your future, of North Node energy. <clears throat> For others of you, I do feel like you guys have been so scattered because I feel absent-minded right now, pile number two in your pile. You guys have been very scattered, and I feel like it's because you've been taking care of a lot of people. And I feel like what you're moving towards is you're visiting something from the past. Because I always say the chariot is a blast from the past. And so I feel like you're revisiting something that you kind of left in the back burner because you were so busy taking care of everybody else, pile number two. What you need to surrender. Yeah, you're surrendering to spirit. And that's the chariot. The chariot is this energy. Yes, it's of discipline. But you're, but the chariot is also led, right? He has a star in his chariot. So I feel like he's also being led by spirit, like I said, by destiny. And so for many of you, during this time of change, of endings, your guides are saying, yes, it might be a little scary. But surrender to your spiritual team. Know that, you know... They're going to take you to where you need to be. For many of you, yeah, you're fed up. You're like, ah, you're screaming. <laughs> For those of you who are wearing uh, earphones, I didn't want to scream. But you guys are screaming. You guys are like, I'm done. I'm fed up. Like, I can't do it anymore. For many of you, I literally see just being like, you know what? I'm done. This is it. I'm like changing jobs. And, and I feel like that's exactly what you needed. To kind of get out of this situation of always being the caretaker or um, the nurturer for everybody else. It's like spirit needed to put you in this energy of being fed up. And I feel like where you're going, what's trying to come in for you is this new beginning of freedom. There's a lot of freedom here. Yeah, but first you need to go through this healing healing um energy for some of you you're doing your home your own home wow you're honing your own business um you're owning your own business but it's like you're owning your power too for some of you, you might be going into reiki or you're expanding on your reiki business for some of you but i do feel like you need to pause right now so during this ending that you're going through pile number two there is this pause here and that's that hermit energy which is the whole reason why you needed this cycle to end in the first place. Because it was like you were so caught up in your head. Where you couldn't even hear your own thoughts. You couldn't even hear spirit. And so spirit, what it's saying is we're going to put you in this pause for right now. 
in order for you to receive the direction in which you're meant to be going because the moment that you do the moment that you pause and you receive this these downloads uh these messages is like you're gonna you're gonna be all in you're gonna be focused and moving forward and no one's gonna stop you that's the chariot energy but first you need to pause pile number two with you now archangel sandophon Number 22, you might be seeing 222 a lot. I feel like you guys need to step into the now. Into the now. Don't focus so much on where it is that you're going. Yeah, you guys are clearing out the clutter. And you guys are saying, don't be afraid to clear out the clutter. The clutter. Don't be afraid to cut people out. Because many of you, this energy of overgiving and overextending yourself is creating a lot of resistance and a lot of struggle and a lot of obstacle. And I feel like this is something that you needed to learn to, to have healthier boundaries. But it's giving you more problems and solutions. And so your guides are saying you need to kind of like isolate yourself a little bit here. To kind of just gather your thoughts and to hear your own voice and the voice of spirit. And your affirmation is my life is full of opportunities. Yeah, there's brand new opportunities that are coming in the moment you take a pause. Okay, the moment that you gather yourself, that you center yourself. And we have love. You guys are stepping into something that you love. Something that is in alignment with your soul. Which is a chariot as well. But that is what I have for you, pile number two. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And um, like always, don't forget to check my other social media platforms. If you're interested on the webinar or on my podcast, all of that information is in the description box below. Bye. Hello, pile number three. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's have a look and let's see what is ending in your life. So what is ending? Why? And what is taking its place? These are going to be guidance for you in regards to this ending. What is ending the moon energy? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yes, the moon represents, um, before I start, I do want to let you guys know because I let the other piles know and I forgot to mention it on my intro. I am having an astrology 101. If you ever wanted to learn about the planets, what do they mean? Just, um, you know, intro information that will be in the month of July. And um, I will let you guys know when it's when I have a set date for it. But just wanted to throw it out there for you guys. And the Awakening webinar is on May 21st. All the information is always in the description box below. So with that being said, let's resume the reading. Okay, so what's ending is the moon energy. Yes, the moon energy is a beautiful energy. Yes, we talk about intuition. We talk about, uh, this is Pisces energy, right? I always associate it with Pisces. I know a lot of people, it's, it's not a lot of people. It's naturally, it's ruler is Cancer. But I always associate it with Pisces when I'm talking about the negative aspect of the moon, which I'm about to touch on. But um, like I said, the moon has beautiful qualities. But for many of you, what is ending is delusion, obsession, subconscious fears. It's this energy of feeling overwhelmed by your emotions is this energy of not knowing lacking direction that is what is ending because like i said the moon is beautiful but there's also this energy of like i don't know if where i'm going is where i need to be right there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of not being able to see things clearly and so all of this is ending all of the uncertainty All of this is ending for you guys. And why is it ending? All the nightmares too. Why is it ending? Because you need to get to work. <laughs> for some of you, you might have been very confused about your work. Okay, maybe you were in this fog here about your work or about the things that you needed to do. And I feel like why this is ending is because you need to perfect something. You need to, you've mastered something. And I feel like there was a lot of fears that were getting in the way of this thing that you've mastered. And for some of you, I feel like it's because it's time for you guys to now move forward on your journey and to get to work. Literally, it's time to get to work. 
for some of you there's also fears about about your business as well or around making money but let's see what is taking its place Ooh, three of cups i like this so i feel like you guys are entering a more joyful period of your life because the moon can talk about depression the moon can talk about anxiety like i said especially that's why i associate it with pisces because of it um when i'm wanting to express the negative aspects of the moon then i will tap into the pisces that's how it'll come through for me that's for me personally that's how my guides communicate and when it's a more positive energy then i'll pick up on the cancer aspect of it but for many of you like I said, it's it's was this um, this depression, this anxiety, this uncertainty that was really really clouding your your next step. And I feel like you guys are ready for something else. And what is trying to take its place, or what is coming in for you guys, is more happiness, more interconnectedness with other people, more support, more celebration, more um, just living in the moment and really enjoying your journey whereas before i feel like in the cycle that's currently ending it's like you couldn't or it was a very gloom gloomy energy with the moon okay there might be a lot of collaborations now coming in as well pile number three yeah for many of you you were in denial that's the cycle that is ending you were in denial about a lot of things you were trying to make things work that you clearly knew that they weren't gonna work and there's no judgment. I never judge you guys because I go through my stuff. I also have been in this energy where I want to I want to make things work that I know clearly they weren't working. For many of you as well, the cycle that is ending is you not trusting your intuition, okay? But again, it's like the cycle that is ending, you're accepting situations and people for what they are. You're removing the blindfold. You're no longer denying the circumstances you're seeing things very clearly now that the moon cycle is ending you're seeing things very clearly and you're going to be making better decisions and you're actually going to be working on things that you know are working for you or that will work for you it seemed like before it was like this moon was your blindfold and you couldn't see is this like neptunian energy that i'm picking up with the moon here yeah, and I feel like this was very uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable for you. And this was all in your subconscious. It was all internal. The moon is, is um, and Vedic is, is the most important planet, at least what I have learned. I don't know a lot about Vedic astrology, but it, it rules our mind and our thoughts, right? And so I feel like here I'm picking it up in that sense of like this moon energy that's now being wrapped up. It was all internal and it was burning you from the inside out. And it wasn't allowing you. Your mind was all scattered. It kind of kept you in this cycle. Like the moon, right? The moon has cycles. It goes from the new moon to the full moon every 28 days, I believe. And so it's like this was a cycle, a never-ending cycle of things. <clears throat> and for many of you, because this is ending, you're now seeing like, hey, that's a cycle. This could be with friends, at work, with lovers, you name it. But you're now seeing the cycle for what it is and you're like, uh-uh, I'm detaching. Is it uncomfortable? Absolutely. But it's kind of this, this energy of like you're taking accountability and you're like, you know what? I put myself there. I chose not to see this situation. And you're, you're removing yourself from that. Kundalini. So for many of you, you are going through an awakening. You're tapping into this untapped potential and you're creating something with it. The Empress and the Hierophant, three and five, which adds up to eight, which is the lion, right? Which is courage, strength. So for a lot of you, it's like you're taking this Empress energy and you're creating something with it and you're teaching it with the five here with the hierophant and you're expressing it whereas before you used to repress it with the strength card i'm also getting the energy here with three and five right being the third house and the fifth house the third house is about communication it's the house of gemini 
I feel like you're expressing this. You're expressing your passion now with the five being here, the fifth house of Leo. For some of you, you might have gone through a Kundalini awakening or you are currently going through a Kundalini awakening because we have fire here and we have fire here. We have the void. For many of you, you were in this energy. You were in this energy of void for a while, but that's what's being wrapped up. But this void needed to happen again because you needed to see the cycles for what they were. And so this moon energy that's being wrapped up puts you in this energy of pause in order for you to rest, in order for you to see things clearly. But your passion was ignited. Clearly, I'm saying there's fire and there's fire here. So by this moon being wrapped up and you seeing the cycles and walking away from them and stepping away from this energy of denial, it's like all of a sudden your passion is elevating and you're tapping into this. I'm hearing your full potential now. Whereas before you couldn't see it or you weren't willing to see it or to own it. The full moon, again, more moon energy, but it's coming to a completion now. It's full circle, full circle, and full circle. Yep, I feel like right now the energy is at its peak. You might feel the most confused right now. You might feel the most vulnerable right now. You might feel the most anxious, the most um, sad. You might be having a lot of nightmares currently because this energy is at its peak. But you bet there is a harvest, there are blessings, there is achievements that are coming in after this moon cycle ends, okay? Pile number three. And then we have here wisdom. Yeah, that's what you're that's what you're extracting from this moon cycle. You're extracting the wisdom and you're seeing that these adversities, these struggles that you faced have actually helped you expand and go through this Kundalini awakening. And you're taking that wisdom and turning it into passion and expressing expressing it externally. And then we have here your um affirmation is i believe in my dreams yep now you believe in them before you didn't but now you do go after the things that you want don't let your fears hold you back pile number three but that is what i have for you if it resonated don't forget to like comment and share don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you guys next time bye